Hello everyone, this is Nick Fenton here, and today is October 27th, 2017. Taking a quick look at crypto markets, and uh, really want to mention an observation that I'm making here in the Bitcoin versus US dollar pair. So first of all, you know we're looking here at a six month chart, and we've kind of got our our primary uh, uptrend, if you will. So that's kind of the, the primary area of uptrend support that I'll be looking at if we start to break down in Bitcoin. Then if we zoom into a one month, you can see this secondary, which is the more uh, you know recent uptrend support level that I've been keeping an eye on for Bitcoin versus US dollar. But I am making an interesting observation right now. Let me do a couple things here before we get into it. I just want to change the right margin add a few more bars here that should be enough all right so i want to pull out a tool this is the head and shoulders tool so we start right about here left shoulder and then we've got the head Right about there. And then we've got our right shoulder potentially forming. So here's what, what it looks like basically. And the way you measure this move in the event this does play out and come to fruition is you, you go from the head down to the neckline, which is right here. And so there's our measurement. If we clone that, clone. There we go. Now we've got an accurate clone. So it measures the move down to right around 4,500 or so. In the event this head and shoulders plays out, we could be seeing a bit of a pullback here in Bitcoin down to 4,500. Of course, it has a ways to go. We need to finish creating this right shoulder. We would have to most likely see a breakdown and then a retracement back up to that neckline support turn resistance, then you would start to see the downside movement. So, you know, potentially 4,500 here in Bitcoin if this, if this head and shoulders observation uh, comes to fruition. Just wanted to point that out. It's something I'm definitely monitoring. Uh, I currently have some orders that I started working the other day at 5,400 in GDAX, and, you know, it's still working, 5,400. In the event I do see this play out, then I will most certainly modify this 5,400 5, down to maybe 45 or 4,600 and see if I can uh, get lucky and scoop some up on the uh, cheap or, you know, cheap in terms of however you think about Bitcoin. So let's go over here and take a look at some other pairs. Ethereum versus Bitcoin. Ethereum is starting to actually look pretty interesting here and I've got some working orders in Ethereum but basically you know we broke this we broke this downtrend resistance the day after the Bitcoin gold fork when they had that nice pump people transitioning from Bitcoin into altcoins <clears throat> including Ethereum of course since then we've kind of been riding that downtrend um, right along that downtrend resistance turn support level just kind of been riding that but it's starting to actually show a little sign of strength here. We've got a uh, series of higher lows intact right now, but nothing. You know, it's kind of winding up, consolidating a bit. I think our next move is going to be higher here in Ethereum versus Bitcoin. So, you know, a big driver of that could be this head and shoulders pattern playing out, a big dip in Bitcoin causing a nice pop in Ethereum, assuming we don't just see a liquidation across the board. But I really do think this is this is a uh, churning up and and looking like it's ready to pop a bit here. So, I'm going to start transitioning some more capital into Ethereum from Bitcoin. We've got this IOTA, which is one that I'm very interested in from a long-term hold perspective, and I am currently holding some long-term cuz why not, you know? And it's kind of the same type of setup that we just saw in Ethereum. We had this downtrend resistance, it broke through, and has been riding that resistance turn support, churning right now and starting to show some signs of life. And you know, kind of seeing a lot of that across the board right now. Here's, here's Litecoin. 
So we got some downtrend action here. It's still holding its downtrend. Um, not interested in Litecoin here, but if it breaks this downtrend resistance, definitely interested. And we've got this Monero. We've got a nice downtrend channel intact. Uh, let's zoom into a one month. You can see we're kind of setting up, you know, just a lot of setting up I'm seeing here, looking favorable towards altcoins versus Bitcoin. Yeah, again, we've got a series of just modestly um, higher lows in Monero and it's really churning into this downtrend channel resistance which could result in it breaking and pushing higher. Uh, I'm starting to really be convinced that I should be moving away from Bitcoin into some of these altcoins. The charts are starting to really tell me that story and um, right now it's not saying definitely do it but it's saying you know start slowly doing it. Uh, so I think what I'll start slowly doing is moving into Ethereum, which is my favorite secondary. And if these charts continue to tell this story, that's when I'll start also moving into things like Ripple here and Monero, maybe a little Litecoin, add a little um, IOTA, take a look at some NEO here. Yeah, I mean, just across the board, we're seeing a lot of churn into downtrend resistance that could translate into downtrend resistance breaks and overall opportunity in altcoins. You know, a lot of really nice basing taking place here. Basing meaning, you know, we're running into some nice support levels. And, uh, you know, it's, it's showing good consolidation at these support levels in tons of these altcoin names. So, um, yeah, this is looking fairly opportunistic, but we haven't seen the real signal saying pull the trigger yet. We're just seeing the signal that says, hmm, maybe this is going to happen, maybe it's not. Maybe they're going to run into the downtrend resistance and continue their downward spiral. Um, keep it on the radar. I'm absolutely going to. And like I said, I'm going to actually start taking some action and transitioning a little bit of Bitcoin into Ethereum. Um, I may modify this order over here from 5400 and just dip it down a little bit, anticipating potentially getting a, uh, a nice opportunity to buy some on the cheap, or maybe I'll just cancel this order and put in an order for Ethereum, transfer the Ethereum over to an exchange uh, like Poloniex or Binance um, and buy some of these altcoins and ride some of those for a minute. For now, just hanging tight and transitioning some Bitcoin into Ethereum, letting this order rest as I initially entered it at 5400, keeping a very close eye on this Bitcoin US dollar potential head and shoulders pattern that I'm seeing forming. Really uh, nice looking on the one month chart. Let's just do a full screen so you can get a better look at that. And we'll exit on that. I wish you the best trading through the weekend and we'll talk again soon.